I'm just trying to get the best angle of you guys. That's all. I want you guys to look so beautiful on this. <laughs> uh, yes, we do. In our in our office. Their room is, is uh, so fancy. And then I know. Like I know. I feel like a... This is a backdrop. <laughs> this this is not a fancy room, Susan. This is a... It's uh, our bedroom. <laughs> this is four... This is three uh, four by eight sheets of uh, the finest pine plywood the uh <laughs> home depot has to offer nice, nice. yeah that's it's all impressive. all smoke and mirrors yeah dude it. that's what it, we huh we should totally just we do should that. just, just do that a, we should just put a fake wall up here it, it works Man. it really there's works. a there's a Nobody great article know. our bed is like right there yeah there's a great article <laughs> on the uh, adult film websites how they shoot a lot of the stuff uh and they recommend a lot of the four by eight sheets of plywood <laughs> I saw. I saw. Here's what I love. It was just there for the articles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this is why I love Strictly video research. This is why I love video podcasting. Is as soon as I said that, I saw Susan's face light up when I said adult <laughs> video, and then Brad's like, "Oh, this is yeah. Alex." It's like I know this is how you oh, operate. Like, yes, we understand. Yes. We, we we understood what we were getting into. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> You know what you get what you signed up for. Yeah, for you sure. should have yeah, you gotta talk That's to your publicist right. right before this. Like I mean this is this <laughs> I know. It's is this a good idea good. or a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> um, so welcome to our podcast, uh, Next Door Neighbors. We have Brad Rodriguez and uh, Miss Susan uh, Rodriguez. The Mr. and Mrs. Uh, build this and fix that. Um, Brad is both a big time blogger, YouTuber uh podcaster in his former life is that fair to say i mean we've had malecki on here so he gave us a spiel uh, you know yeah yeah so uh yeah i don't know what did john say because i don't want to <laughs> <laughs> no we we have been on we made for profit was a um victim of covid as much so that's like we have an, this amazing uh scapegoat and we're taking it <laughs> so uh yeah kind of covid came around and then you know John got all YouTubery, and uh, our and he also got married, right? So now he had less time to himself, and like had some. Uh, I mean, not that Sarah, not that they weren't beforehand, but anyway, lots of stuff went going on, and we just it just lowered down the priority list, man. So you know how that goes. It's yeah. So we had to we had to make a choice, and we decided to cut that out. And I don't know. We'll we'll see. It, it's not dead. It's just dormant. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so we have that. So, um, and then Susan, you, uh, I think as of last year, joined the fix this, build that, uh, team, right? Yes. Cool. Yep. And then what's your background? Is your background teaching? I remember. No. Yeah. Yep. I'm uh, a teacher by trade. I taught high school special education for years. And then, um, when, yeah. So when we had kids, I stayed at home with them. And then when Brad went full time with the business, I went back to teaching. Um, and the plan was that I was going to do that. I don't know, just until I decided not to, or until. That I was the fail safe. It was. Right? It was so a, like, yeah. <laughs> it felt more comfortable. If, if the blog and everything went yeah. belly up, then uh, we could live on a teacher's salary. Right. And well, which still is survive. Pretty pitiful. And anyway. insurance. Insurance. That was a big thing. Yeah. It was. It was the health insurance. And I mean, and I was excited to get back in the classroom and. Um, yeah, so it was kind of just kind of to make us feel really comfortable with going full time, but um, it was hard, you know. So with the, with the family and everything, and the kids were not thrilled with me being at work, and no. um, and Brad wasn't really either. And so by March of that school year, we were pretty confident that <laughs> I wasn't like, going yeah, this back. Is, this is done. Yeah, this is done. It's like so it's like one, one of those things <laughs> where uh, we had a whole master plan, you know, of of like how we were going to go full time and transition as a family. And part of that was our youngest was entering kindergarten. And at that same time, so, so Susan stayed home with the kids for eight, nine time. years. Yeah. Uh, and so we have three kids. So uh, when from the time the first one was born until the youngest was going into kindergarten. And so we kind of knew, and that was the vision, like looking at it two, three years before that, when we first started doing Even this. Even before we had kids, that was always the plan, was that I would eventually go back yes. to teaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was before we were doing any of that. Idea, but, you know. but then she, 
And so then that was like the, that was kind of like, it was like the tag team, like, like our daughter's going into school, she's going to teach. And then I'm like quitting and, you know, coming home and just like footloose and fancy watching football all day. Sounds like the life. Yeah. But then it, but then it's shifted. So, but that's good. It it worked out really well. So, okay. So tell me about the, the, you said uh, special, uh, special needs or special education or what's, what's the background again? Yes, I taught high school special education. So I primarily worked with kids that were um, had learning disabilities and were in the general classroom um, with a range of, I mean, they, they didn't all have, like sometimes it was behavioral difficulties or- Which is um, great, you're married to the, Brad, right? So you know how to handle them. <laughs> it was yeah. good training. It was, no. it was good training to deal with me for <laughs> just sure. Just like a whole host. I worked with <laughs> autistic kids and just, just like lots of different kids and their families. So, so a person like you has a very special place in uh, my heart and the reason why is because my brother, my middle brother, I'm, I'm, I'm the youngest of three boys. My middle brother was born uh, mentally disabled. Uh, he's born with a diagnosis mm-hmm. called uh, Rubenstein Taby and not a lot of people know. And I, I, I grew up, uh, so both of my parents worked, um, and as immigrants, both of my parents had two jobs. Well, my dad had two jobs. My dad worked in construction and a chop, uh, and a chop shop. And, uh, and so my, my oldest brother was the first one to go to high school. Uh, my middle brother is the one that was mentally developmentally delayed. And then me, um, who is the youngest one who is not. I mean, this is what I'm working with, right? Uh, And so uh, the way my life works. You sold me. Yeah, right. She's like, he's special. I'll take care of him. Um, And so my, my, my middle school and high school years revolved around me kind of circumnavigating my life where I would, um, I actually had to get a special permission slip from the schools, both middle school and high school, where I had to ride the shore bus with the kids because my both my parents left for school. And so my, mm-hmm. my middle brother who had this disability, I would have to ride that shore bus with him. And so I, I would I would be on that bus, we get off, I go to my class, he goes to his class, and we did that all the way through high school. And for the longest time, so I was constantly around those kids who had these disabilities. Right. And some of them were, yeah, like maybe autistic and they were learning to kind of kind of, you know, circumnavigate their own life. And then some of them were kind of like my brother, who it was like half of it was physical disability. Half of it was well, a lot of it was mental. But like because he's he's two years older than me. I'm 32. He's 34. So mentally, he's more of like, I don't know, like what would you put Sasha as like uh, like uh, age wise, like developmentally? Would you say like he's five, more, six, five or six years old? Like so he's yeah. a 34 year old at a five or six year old mindset. And so like I would, you know, we would be in this lifestyle. And so like I would get off the bus. And for some reason, all those kids that are like in that age group or in that like developmental process, they were like the rest of the popular kids in school treated them really well, you know, because they were oh, like, oh, yeah. so all the cheerleaders would make the, 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 the scars for them and they'd walk around and my brother. Oh, and, and I was really such a, cute. So well, nice. well, here's the thing is like, I was such a weird kid in high school that I remember my brother who's like walking down the hallway with this like really cute cheerleader. And he was like, that's my brother. And I was like, uh, that's right. Here I am. <laughs> so, so, me. Yeah. So like I've been, I've been around those special ed kids and the teachers and you guys have a special place in our hearts, man. And I, we appreciate oh. you guys for that. Um, Respect. But so, so it's really cool to see you guys. You guys are a great couple to relate with because you guys are content creators. Um, you guys started with like two separate careers and then you merged them together. Um, so that's it's really cool so you guys do enforce i could never do that with you like we never really got to the place where like i remember i would ask do anything for you i would (laughs) ask you to like i would ask her to like edit my blogs and and she would just like have this like just the most like defeated face that she would ever make just like i don't (laughs) want too much work i don't like this um but i feel like (laughs) it's weird though because our both our businesses kind of go hand in hand but not really sure and so we've always just yeah yeah, I just can't like the whole social media world is just too well, much your, for me. your thing is very much like the money locally. My my right. our, our I get bu- my business. Yeah, locally. our business is more of like money, like 
globally like you know so you'll have right. you'll have a weird scandinavian company like hello we are number one marketing group <laughs> in, <laughs> in all of honduras yeah. so, you know, and you're like all right yes. you know cool here's my rates like oh can we give you 150 dollars worth of product and you know, no, listen i'm sorry like <laughs> yeah, yeah i guess for me like for, like, for I, a five I, minute mid-roll integration yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 and another call to action in the end. <laughs> Um, how was it, Susan, how, what, share some of the, cause we, we this is, this is a very non-formal podcast and I, we're, we're going to have, um, we have drinks poured right here. So I don't know about you guys, but like, <laughs> just having good time. Yeah. Uh, we have two of our kids playing, um, on their screens right now. The, the baby's sleeping right now. No, she's not. I'm looking at the monitor. Well, That's why we, I keep looking away. If she's... we turn the volume down on the monitor, she's sleeping. <laughs> Congrats on the baby, by the way. Oh, yes, thanks. She's adorable. Exciting. Thank you, thank you. So, two boys and a girl that's just like us. I know. I girl. thought of you guys when we had her because I yeah. remember talking to you like, what was it, like yes. a year or two ago. And In yeah, we were like on the fence of having a third at that point. Mm-hmm. And we're, I'm like, I was just, I, we were so sad that we were having a boy. We thought we were having a boy. And so it was really fun to have because we didn't find out with her oh okay yeah she was a surprise oh, awesome. um well no so she wasn't a surprise for a no. baby but she no was i mean surprised like surprise a... gender we didn't know yeah yeah okay. surprise right. gender you didn't do a gender reveal yes. where you like started a wildfire yes or no like not, right, not. Yeah. No. we could have but i told we her didn't. i was like what's the best what's better than like telling the world like we're having a baby than putting in the forest and a third of the country yeah, on fire. and you're on the news now yeah right yeah. right and have everybody else Fun. breathe that smoke. Susan, are there have there been like any mm-hmm. moments in your guys' career that you guys merged together that you felt some of these frustrations of having to like be part of the social media world? Oh. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know this was gonna be counseling, man. You might don't, don't be on t- don't don't be messing up my night, guys, okay? Like, We're in a good spot it. right now. <laughs> Susan, whatever you say, we'll t- pay you double. Tell me about a time when, when Brad really disappointed you, okay. and how did you react? No. no. Okay, when you're saying being part of the social media world, are you saying, like, me, myself, personally, yeah. being involved yeah, in well, the like, channel? Well, I'm not really on screen a lot, which is comfortable for me. I'm not... I'm like the person in my own life that like I'm on social media and I like to read things that other people write, but I don't post anything really. I, I very rarely I go in spurts and then I'm like, yeah, I'm done here. Like I just I'm not the kind of person that like eats, breathes, like lives that. Yeah. So I'm just not in your I don't know. It's more about Brad and then. You it's do. I me. was. I mean, well, you're the one. Like, I'm not a woodworker, so I'm not out there making anything. But um, I'm sometimes like helping you move things in videos. But that's about it. But I will say, I feel like I was doing. Um, I was looking through a lot of the social media stuff today. It was like part of what I was just doing, and um, and I was noticing all the times that you would be like. Like on your Father's Day message, you said second to being married to Susan, being a dad is like the whatever. Like, I was like, oh, that was so nice. Oh, you like included awesome. me in that, you know. And then like there was the I'm video. Glad you where, noticed yeah. that. What, was, yeah. Yeah. what else? Yeah. What else? Tell me more. Ago. No, 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 I saw it then, but I was just because I was super it strategic. Today, uh, and, I, uh, and I was remembering it all over again. Yes. But then like and then in videos, I don't know. I just feel like I feel like you make a point of mentioning me, not all the time, but like. It's not, I don't know. I just, and that's enough for me. Like, I don't need to be, I'm not camera ready. Like Brad puts a hat on and he's got the beard and he's good to go. We can get you a hat. We can get you a hat. We'll send you one. It's going to cost you 32 bucks. I know. It's a good hat. Plus shipping. Plus shipping. So. Okay. So one of the, one of the things I've noticed like with us, and this is before Irina started her social media journey, uh, is that, and I remember in our marriage, we had this thing where, uh, I would be at the computer or on my phone and it, it was always work related. And I remember you would kind of be like, Hey, uh, be present here right now. Kind of, you know, like these subtle, oh, yeah. subtle nudges. Um, did you ever feel that like, as like, cause with, like when you have your own business, like you, you always, you, it, you're never really off the clock. Like you're always reachable. You're always doing, especially trying to get things off the ground. Did you ever feel that where you guys had to have that kind of conversation? Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, and I feel like 
I definitely I will feel like Brad's I mean I'm on my phone a lot too though so it's not like I'm this innocent over here that's never on her phone but like oh, I was there totally innocent Bra- <laughs> just kidding Brad is <laughs> Brad is definitely like he'll be like looking at his phone or looking at the computer while I'm talking and that's the only times where I'm like will you please like sometimes I don't care but other times I'm like hey like focus on me and then you do but but a lot of times like if he's on his phone and I just think he's like unplugged. I'm like, are you? Wor- I'll ask. I don't know. Like, you'll like kind of yeah, let me know. Little, like, oh, lot. I'm working. Well, because like, I'd I'm not be like, around. I'd be like on the computer, like doing something, and then she just walk in and be like, so tomorrow when we're, and I'm like, and she's like, would you listen to me? And I'm like, I was working I here. <laughs> what are you, what are you, you came in to me. <laughs> and so that is, yeah. It has been nice, like, it, for a while now. But she'll be like, hey, are you available? Yeah. Because I think that was, you know, you're just like, oh. That, that's the like the weirdest part of working from home and i don't know like how it's been for you alex making the transition which by the way congratulations yeah you know, that exciting. too man it's thank awesome you. thank you uh because yeah i mean I, we obviously did the side hustle and that's a whole thing um but being like home together all day is awesome but it's also <clears throat> it's just like a con like there's always <clears throat> excuse me there's always somebody for me to go talk to, right? Like, and like, we love talking about just everything. everything. So like, it, it, there's just this like, constant source of like, oh, so like, I'll, I'll go in to like get a drink of water. Then I'll be like, hey, what are you doing? What are, and then like, it will be like a half hour gone. And we're just like yapping about like, whatever. We take like right? the we're longest like, lunch oh my breaks gosh. ever. Like we're usually yeah. out on the back porch eating our salads. Yeah. Like, so we like eat lunch every day on the back so porch. And, and now our son is home too, our oldest, yeah. because he's doing online. Uh, he's in sixth grade now, and for the whole COVID thing and everything, we we uh, he made the decision he wanted to be held out, and then it, it turned into be completely different than what we thought it would be. Everything They've changed. been in school everything except for the first two weeks, and we were going on the the assumption they were going to be like out of school more than they would be in school. But you know how that all went. But anyway, so like the three of us are home every day together, and it's like yeah, it's it's it's, it's definitely weird. Um, it, you know, we, we have to like set boundaries because, you know, like, just like you, like, you know, I work yeah. in my garage, like there, there's, I don't, I have an office, but it's right outside the bathroom in the kitchen. Right. And it's like, <laughs> well, and I feel rude. Constant like, source of, like, Cole yeah. will come in and he's like, Hey mom, what you doing? And like, that's like his, he does that a lot. And I'm like literally on the computer, very obviously working. And I'm like, and I feel so mean sometimes, but, and I say it nice. I'm just like, oh, I'm working right now, you know, and he's fine. He's old enough. He can go, he's got things to do, but it is weird to be like, I just get can't out really <laughs> hang out right now, you know? So yeah. yeah. It's just, it's, it's hard. Yeah. How, it's a balancing act. How, how do you, how do you handle, cause we both work from home and so our, our but I'm out, I think I want. I am out more than I am home. Okay, working. You yeah. work. You from haven't home. been. So we are. <laughs> Alex is like okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's just Alex. Most. Wonder where you were all this time. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I used to think before I quit the hostel because before the same amount of hours that I put into my side hustle, I did almost at the hospital, mm-hmm. if, if not more, obviously. And then. Mm-hmm. When everything switched, and I would always like romanticize, like, oh, one day I'll be able to do this like full time. Because I remember like when Jameson like announced he went full time, and I was just like romanticizing. I was like, oh, man, <laughs> one day that'd be so great to just be a full time, you know, like, and I'd have so much more free time, oh, yes. and I'll do stuff. And then I you realized, you don't, you have like, less free time. I'm like more busier now, focusing on one thing yes. because you are at home, right? Yes. And the kids are there, and because we all have this non-traditional thing where like we're from home and we're always reachable. And so the kids are always there. And like, I'm always like catching myself saying no so much. Right. Cause like, Hey dad, can we go to the skate park? Yeah. Cause like, dude, it's 11 o'clock on a Tuesday. Cause we have one home <laughs> half the week. Yeah. So we, they have like a first through whatever high school has like a hybrid schedule right now. Our kindergartner is at school every day. They let them go every day, which is awesome. So Jack is home. Yeah, our yeah seven every old. other day, and so yeah, we've had kind of that too, where he will come in and say, "Mom, I need help with this." And so like, and with a first grader, uh, you have to sit with them and do their schoolwork. You can't leave. Can you? Yeah, and that's been oh, yeah. hard. Can you? Can, and there he's like right at the process where like he learned to read, but he's not confident of like just jumping into the water. He's like, "Can you read this for me?" I was like, "Well, no, dude. You know how to read. So like, let's sound it out." And like. 
next thing you know you're like walking them through this, there, though, this process always, and yeah. so you're like i'm saying no so often so one of the questions i had for you guys is like do you have this really like sexy romantic work scenario where it's <laughs> either like an office space or like this dream setup like what does it look like to be like a a woodworker and like a <laughs> and like a and like a like you know some you know somebody at a computer like to to like be part of the business like what does that look like what is that space that you guys are romanticizing in the back of your head <laughs> Oh, we do. Um, we, we talk do. about it a lot. I, yeah, so, I was gonna say this is the reality. Yeah, yeah this is the Brad. reality. How big is that room? How, how big is that room? Um, it's a it's a good size. It's, it's a, uh, I think it's fourteen. I think it's 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 got a little weird bump out, but I it's think just it's like full of stuff. It's like a, it's probably fifteen by twelve. Fifteen so by twelve. It's a decent that's plus. That's a good. That's yeah. a good size. <laughs> I work my shop setup is at twelve by seventeen. <laughs> Nice. Uh, oh, yeah. Shop. We, can, we can fit a good My shop in here. Shop. Yeah. yeah, you can. I just use a wide-angle yeah. lens. That's cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Smoking we have uh, a lot. So we have, like, like just to my right is a whole, like, two huge things of, like, industrial shelving. <laughs> yeah, it's not attractive. I really <laughs> and, uh, would be like, oh, this so is not it, a good look So it's holding, like, room. all, you know, so Alex, you know this, and, and um, you're living it. It's like when somebody's like hey i'm gonna send you blah blah and you're like yeah send it on and then like and, and that shows up but then like five other things that you didn't even ask for just show up and so like that all goes here office supplies camera gear t-shirts because yeah right like you have your own merch and t-shirts and hats and and so all that stuff is is over here but packing supplies packing supplies but uh what are like the dream the dream scenario is a detached shop on some land. So we've been uh, we've been looking for property for three years. Gosh, yeah, coming up on three years now. Yeah. And uh, just where we live, it's it, you know it's the the housing market around here where is just are gone you guys crazy. Again? I, I think I forgot. We're in Nashville. Nashville, that's right. Yeah. 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 So we're we're just south of Nashville, and the market's really crazy, and it's like hard to find property for any kind of good price with good schools, and so. We've been looking forever and we haven't found it. But the 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 dream house is like five plus acres. Let's call it five to ten would be the sweet spot. And then uh, have a, a fixer upper house that we could make content on. Or build one if we had to. We'd we rather, really don't want to because I feel like, like that's the weirdest thing like about being a content creator. I, I feel like I'm, like I'm just throwing away all exactly that content. Where we're at right oh, now. dude, my mother was like, why don't you build a house? I was like, I can't pay my bills by building a house. <laughs> Right, right, exactly. Right. I'm like, yeah, th these rooms in the house will pay for itself. We're just to the point where we've been looking for so long that we're like, well, if land yes. came up with nothing on it, we might have to hop on that and build just because. If it, right, just because else. where we're at, it's it's yeah. it's a very hot commodity. We have and very so we'd have a, a house wants. and then like a detached shop with an office mm -hmm. there so that I could. Yeah. And and then eventually, you know, she would not even be part of the business, right? I'll have a team where we don't need her to do it. She can focus. <laughs> like, Whoa. She's like, we never talked about She's getting this. kicked out. Yeah, yeah, she's the first I've heard of this. Brad's she's like, employee Brad's number like, two. We have like a couple of like 18 to 21 year old blondes just like intern. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Employee number two. She'll no. be she'll be fired number tell one. Me earlier? You were like, you told me I was employee of the month. The other employee. Day. She's oh. always employee like, of the not, month. Yes. Not when uh, you get <laughs> land, apparently. Yeah, Brad's like, listen, you're moving in a different direction. Oh, no, yeah. it's, it's, not you. it's not you it's us it's us I think I just, we got a great I think severance I think like package come out of my nose <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's the idea so that we could have it separated yeah. because that's the biggest thing like you know see like what john has and and johnny and chris salamite like all these dudes who have jameson james well, Jameson's is, well, yeah, Jameson's no, yeah, it's is like, it's separate where from it's like house. at least, yeah. right, Jameson's is still on his property and that's kind of what we'd be yeah. looking for. But, uh, and Jen just built hers, is that to have something that's removed, right? So I'm not like in the house and like I have a shop that's got like a fridge and a bathroom. He'd have so, a like, steady supply of Diet Mountain Dew. Yeah, yeah like he Diet Mountain Dew. would never need to come back keg. in the house. And uh, I would like go to work, you know, like because that's the thing is like, when you when you go to work, like when I used to work the day job, you'd go to work and like do your thing and then you'd come back and you know, sometimes I'd have phone calls or like whatever, I'd have to do emails. But for the most part, I just kind of left work. And you know, you mentioned it earlier, like when you own your own business, you're always 
you're kind of always on call. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, but so much so here is like, the thing is like in, I spend a ton of time in the office because I, you know, I'm doing all the back end stuff and I haven't built the team out that I need. Uh, and you know, I'm always like looking at mm-hmm. analytics and doing all this other stuff that I shouldn't be doing, but I do. But then I'm also like, this is where I watch YouTube videos and this is where I like kind of, relax too so it's like it's this super blurry line because i'll like be watching a peter mckinnon video and then like all, like on one screen and then literally be like editing a thumbnail on the left screen right so i'm like <laughs> i'm just kind of in this like gray area of of like working and not working at the same time and then like the kids will come in i'll be talking to them so like that's one thing that we and, and you know Su- susan mentioned it earlier like we should instead of our son coming up to us and being like hey can you like we haven't done a great job of is like, we need to have defined like, Hey, between nine and you know, 11 in the morning, like, don't talk to us. Right. Cause that's like, right. that this, like, this is our work. These are our work hours. And like, right. we ha- well, I have a door, that we can get away with I have a door. She has doors. Uh, she's in a little, the actual office in the front, uh, with some French doors. So she could close that. But you know, just like even like a two hour block in the morning and they'd be like, all right, we're all going to eat lunch together. And then, you know, between one and three again, like we need to be like, yeah. unless you're bleeding, you know, right. severely, <laughs> don't come get us. Well, he'd be <laughs> That's too, what you I, say. I do feel bleed. good about the, yeah, <laughs> I do feel good about the fact that when we eat lunch, the three of us will eat lunch together and we usually play a game, like a short card game at that time. Yeah. And it is really fun. Like we we love, we're definitely a game family. We've got a ton of board games and card games and all that stuff. And, but it's fun, you know, when you have more than one kid, you guys know, like, when you do have that one-on-one time with a kid, it's special, you know. So, uh, like, we're trying to make lunch be some quality time because a lot of the time during the day, you know, he's on Zoom calls, though. He has yeah. <laughs> This morning he was like, Mom, I'm on a Zoom call. Like, I was too loud in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, like, he's, he's shutting so us out. He doesn't have like, any problems sh- sitting in a bag. He goes, <laughs> he goes Susan, like, Brad, I'm on a call, okay? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, he's like, yeah, Dad, it's could funny. you not run the planer right now? Yeah. Like, I'm on a Zoom yeah. call. <laughs> it's funny. I, 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 I think, like, it's and it's really fun to meet and talk to other people who are, like, running their businesses from their homes where they're always reachable because we all carry this parent guilt where you're like, mm-hmm. catch yourself saying no. And, and you're like, oh, man, are they going to remember this? But then like what you said about games, it really resonated with me. Cause I'm like, yeah, I say no a lot, but you say yes a lot. I too. try to say yes. Cause like the rule in our family and in, in our home is like, listen, I, to me, I'm OCD and it maybe comes a little bit from like the hospital work life where you, you're doing 12 hour shifts. So maybe somewhere in the deep part of my brain, I'm thinking I need to earn my day by putting in 12 hours. Right. And so I, I'll have to wake up at five, but the rule in the house is I have to be done at five because if I didn't accomplish, and I've spoken to this before in this podcast, like if I didn't accomplish that in that, that 12 hour period, an extra 30 minutes is not going to win anything in a, in a thing. So, so the, the hard and fast rule is like five o'clock after that, whatever you want to do, skate park, you want to go for a bike ride, you know, you want to, you know, you do know, fire in the backyard. Fire in the, that's great. And so like these little things is like trying to say yes after five o'clock, no matter how tired like you are, like, you almost like almost like, like to me personally, I redeem myself with those like either a game or a thing or like last night it was she went with the girls out and it was when mom's away, we're doing boys night. And it's like you get to pick three things. We can do a fire pit. We can go out to wherever you want for dinner and then we'll do another activity. And so like I feel like that almost washes over all these moments that I said no to them. And I, I get to yeah. sleep yeah. well and, you know, I don't have to, you know, guilt trip myself. Well, the. Well, I was going to say the kids are also kids are creatures of habit and they like to know typically where the line is, you know, and you guys know because you have young kids. They're always trying to test that boundary. So I would imagine. Yeah, (laughs) well, I would imagine even though you might feel bad saying no during the day, the fact that you have that boundary very clearly defined like, hey, until five, dad is like unavailable and that after five, he's always available. That's got to be really um uh, very easily under, uh, very easy for them to understand, you know, like, like, I think that's yeah. a really great strategy. But so hang on, like you get up at 5am and start working. Is that right? Five to six. Yeah. Wow. I know. That's, that's what I said. Well, no, no, I don't Not think here. it's anything. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you go to bed? No, I don't think yeah, it's what it. time do you go to bed? It's 1030. 
10:30. Yeah. It would just be a different. So schedule. you're one of those. You're one of those people who He's can like just function off of like no. six to seven. No, no, hours. no, 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 not at all. So I made a mistake. Um. So, so people who are content. It's been kind of weird with baby though. Like yeah. things have been a little weird, but. Um. I typically. caught myself in a weird thing where I like content creators. We like to consume other content, and so uh, I like to listen to a lot of psychotic uh, marines and like special <laughs> forces guy podcast and like Jocko Willink right and so like hear these guys talking yeah. about like or Casey Neistat like who's not a marine or a special force guy but he'll talk about like you you know successful people need only six hours of sleep blah 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 and I tried it I legitimately tried it where like I tried to like um, reprogram my what is it? Uh, Ar Sleep Arcadian cycle. Arcadian cycle is that what yeah. that is? They call it Ar Cir circadian circadian, circadian. 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 Yeah. cycle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Antarctican Antarctican cycle. Um, and so <laughs> I, I would try to like do that, and I would do like thirty minute increments. To, how do I get to like five o'clock or four o'clock? And then I realized there there are certain people who can legitimately like Kevin Hart or 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 Steve Harvey. They could legitimately do that, but me personally there, and this is i don't i don't know this is like tmi or this is like this is too much into like counseling session but i don't have dark moments mentally at all except in the morning when my brain's not fully like awakened so like if you catch me at like four o'clock in the morning four thirty, and let's say i set my site my my alarm clock because i i, I want to get my, myself to a point where i could work super early the 15 minutes that I'm in the bathroom brushing my teeth or showering, whatever, like some of the darkest like thoughts come onto my mind and I go, am I a dark person? But then I realize like, no, 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 my brain's just asleep. Like you're just like, you're not there. And then by the time I get downstairs, literally by the time I shoot downstairs, get out of the room, like I feel like myself again. So I realized it, not everybody needs to function off of six hours. Like not everybody's programmed. So with me, I could, I work well off of a seven, seven and a half hour. If it's seven and a half, I'm wide awake. Like last night, I woke up, I decided to sleep in a little because we went late and sleeping in at 6 a.m. for me. And I was just like wide eyed, open, 5.30 in the morning. Your body's already because like, I was already, used but, to it. Yeah. But most importantly, it's like that mental health where you're like, I, there's nothing weird coming into my mind. Like I'm not questioning anything. I'm not hard on myself because I didn't work out or I didn't, you know, accomplish what I wanted to accomplish with work the day before. So that's not it at all. No, no, it's not it at all. But um, yeah, no, I, it's just, just, it's just me there. I think that I just think there's a lot that I, I just, I chew myself out for. And if I, I, if I hold fast to those things, I feel a little bit better about myself. That that's really all it is. I feel like you do well with rules. You, you need yes. like the boundaries. I need sure. rules. I need to be told. I I'm need like, nah, yeah, we can just like do I'm whatever. being 30. <laughs> Tonight, today I wake up at eight. Tomorrow, I'll wake up at six. Well, whatever. your excuse is like you're like I'm breastfeeding, so you're like okay, yeah, I can yeah. the baby, the baby. Like with me, I don't have, have a baby. I don't have excuses. <laughs> you can like, get away with a lot. <laughs> to me, if I don't eat well, if I don't work out every day or every at least every other day, if I don't if I don't wake up early, those things, if I don't if I break those rules, I mentally there's a war that I have to have in my mind, and I don't like that. Like it's it's I'm not happy with myself, like. It, it, so it, it's better for me to like make rules, stick to those rules. Don't eat stupid carbs. Like don't don't eat Cheetos late at night. Don't go to Matador and have nachos late at night. Like don't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> focus on drinking a lot of water. Focus on having you know good sleep. You know earn your day with workouts. Earn your day with the work you put in. Make sure you have a hard stop at 5 p.m., but be up at 5 a.m. or 5.30 or 6. Like, those are the things. And then I don't have to have weird conversations in my mind, you know, that like, like we were actually talking about this yesterday. And I was, I was telling her, I was like, I had a hard day today. She's like, why? What happened? I was like, I, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm irritated with myself. She goes, why? I was like, I looked at my last video that came out and it showed me that I'm and I, I have I have like a an, a kind of a regiment where I put out a video roughly around every two weeks. So two videos a month, not that bad, right? Yep. And I had I saw like I just hit two weeks and I'm doing the shower remodel and the glass 
I ordered from Home Depot, not to knock on a Home Depot, but with, but they didn't, they don't stock it and nobody stocks it, not Lowe's, nobody. Not, right. and, and so like you have to order it and for it to be delivered to the store, it's still like five to seven days. And I didn't realize that I should have planned for this delivery. Well, in to be fair, you didn't. You weren't going to do the shower at first, and so it was kind of last minute. Well, thing. sure, but by the time I started, I I, yeah. I could have thought about it. And so <laughs> the tub is available in store right away. So I went and got the tub, and I got everything started. And I realized, like, oh shoot, this thing's like seven days away. So like, I'm like crunching the the numbers in the back of my head, and you get used to a certain paycheck. You get used to a certain amount of views a month. That you that you're like, if this goes out another week. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Am I irrelevant now? You know, like this, <laughs> these weird conversations happening. So, like right away, I'm like, all right, we're starting a second project. So we go to the, the her family's cabin, and I'm like, all right, I'm building a sauna. <laughs> so like I'm doing like two projects that both can't make be... up for it. So like there's these weird conversations in my mind, like that. It's 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 just a it's an unsettling it's an unsettling war. <laughs> it's, it, but it wasn't there that that time, Alex. Would you you were talking about it earlier there, where you were like, oh, dude, when I go full time, <laughs> I mean a video every week. Yes. I don't know, maybe two. <laughs> totally. <You know? laughs> dude, totally. like, <laughs> dude, I've done that, and it's funny. Like I feel like. I, like I've been kind of experimenting with my audience and I was like, I've always wanted to get to the point where like, and you probably see from some of my content, like I'm always like, just kind of like some of the things are like on the whim, like whether it's a story or whatever. And I would, I would get to these points where I was like, you know, it'd be great if I could just shoot a vlog style video. Like there's zero to no preparation for it. I could shoot it in one day, right. send it to my guy to edit and we can boom, we got a video. like. And so I feel like I've slowly done that and cultivated in my audience where like they'll still consume it and I'll get a certain amount of views that I'm anticipating as like a W in my book. And then you go, oh my gosh, do I, I don't want to do this. I feel like I want to get more free time. Like I don't want to just put out another video. Um, so one of the questions I had for you guys is do, do your kids consume like uh, YouTube videos with like, like, like within their like age group and stuff like that? Do they like YouTube? We we are we are very strict, probably in the grand scheme of like you know comparison. Uh, they they don't. So we're we're like very much. Um, we just don't think that kids, uh, for one, like so like we're not gonna have our our kids aren't gonna have phones for like as long as humanly possible. Right. Based for lots of reasons, not not just for. Um, we but, have a middle schooler, so a lot of his friends have them. Have, I mean, they're getting them at like eight years old yeah. and stuff like this. He's and so not, he's not getting one until probably high school. Right, and so we just, you know, there's there's so much, and there's uh, Susan follows uh, a guy Colin, Colin Karchner. Karchner. You Karchner. should check him out. Uh, and there's just so much study and so much information about there about like how undeveloped kids' brains are and like how the suicide rates in kids and just the bullying and all that yeah. stuff is just so rampant. And so and there's we've, people out there that are looking to find kids that you don't want finding kids. Oh yeah, kids. yeah. I mean that's the whole other side of it is like the the, whole, like, the, yeah. predator, the predator mm -hmm. aspect, but not even the predator aspect, just, just their friends right, right, right. and stuff in comparison and all this stuff that is just not healthy. Right. And so we've kind of taken a hard stance on, I mean, on basically internet connectivity like they, they've got they've got kindles that they play mm -hmm. so they like they play video games all the time like they and they play minecraft on with their friends but anything that's um and and not and i guess youtube kind of falls in that in the sense of that it's they, kind of opening up i guess if we if we if they had ipads they'd they, probably yeah, do they it but they don't, they, have, don't, they don't have kindles iPads. don't have youtube and I had, the way that I we had do it. youtube kids on my phone for a hot minute because i thought there was like some Something that kids wanted they to, used watch. to watch. Actually, they have watched a lot of because we remember Macy used to watch those Barbie thing. We would let them watch YouTube when they were. I don't know. Getting but their like hair. They don't, like Macy would watch all those those Barbie those YouTube Barbie. On my you don't phone. remember that? But I'm doing yeah, hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, trust me, Karina. <laughs> Down the road when your daughter yes. gets older and you have to like comb through the long hair because the boys are so much easier. That's what I'm like. All right, you, here, too. you can watch American Girl doll videos yeah. or yeah. Barbie videos. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm standing right there. You yeah, know? yeah. Like so you can monitor but like, it. Alex. Yeah. yeah. We, we, oh, yeah. But we missed, well, like, we missed our just... calling, Alex. There's these like two girls who are like literally holding Barbies oh, or American gosh. Girl and they're like, Hey, what do you want 
with you today. I don't know. <laughs> oh. And there's just like a lot of those. <laughs> out there. And, and it's like it's Millions like ten million views. views. Like every video, yeah, they put insane. like one out a day. Yeah. I'm like, because like Macy's watched the same video so many times. Oh, yeah. She like, watched the same thing. Oh yeah, over yes, and over again. They do. Oh, this oh, is over my, over. my boys. Our boys love watching. There's um, there's these like two or three daily vlogging like teenagers. They do like it's kind of like blue. Of- it's like Blue's Clues for these kids, you know. Yeah, it's very like innocent, but it's so obnoxious, stupid. so obnoxious. Yeah. Like, whoa, oh, yeah. shares. Well, did you? Oh, yeah. did you see it? I'm like, oh, like dude. they're very <laughs> dramatic with the way they talk and it. Alex right. and I like are always rolling. I was like, no, 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 dude, just turn on like Demolition Ranch yes. or like Meat Eater yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't want to watch this. There's like, certain ones like no. we like. They're okay with watching. Like we like, like they love Dude Perfect. I don't know. If yeah, yeah. I was like, Dude Perfect oh, or Devil's yeah. Ranch. Like watch. that's it, dude. Like that's not every yeah. Monday. Every Monday is Dude Perfect. Yes. Every other Monday we is Dude Perfect that night. As a family. But now and we've 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 broadened our horizon too. So it's like Dude Perfect, Mark Rober, yeah. uh, Colin Furs. What's the uh, magic one? We've been one? watching Who's a lot Zach of King? Chris Ramsey. Yeah. Uh, Zach King. Oh yeah, we should, the magician guy. Uh, yeah, so, so there's we like, do watch YouTube stuff. There's like with five them, or six, and we'll that, all watch it together right. on the TV. It's it's more that I think we're we've been spending a lot of time setting the expectation for them that like like that stuff is okay. We're doing it together, but like they're not gonna have phones of their own, and it is kind of a weird. It's a weird path to navigate when you make your entire living on social media <laughs> essentially i mean you yeah. know and of course our oldest our 12 year old all of them but especially the oldest is like super always very enthusiastic about bragging that his dad is a youtuber <laughs> <laughs> he's like it's just so cool mom like yeah. so like i mean he's like always trying to get people his friends to subscribe to the channel that's so is cute. that is that how you got to nine hundred thousand, bro <laughs> yeah that's, that's it yeah. 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 Was that yeah. many friends? half of my audience is uh <laughs> at the elementary school, school where yeah. the kids go <laughs> i was i was gonna ask that i was like how do your how do your kids view it like like oh, obviously they're 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 super impressed and super like proudful. By the way, can you guys see Alex? Is he like halfway in the shot? You can see like most. Oh yeah, yeah, we get it. So if you can't see yourself face? in that little square. Well, th- I I mean I got, I figured out that's how that's how it works. So but let me thing. introduce you to the world of Skype. <laughs> yeah. So 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 they're do they, so they talk to their friends a lot about what you do and then. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Our they oldest but, definitely does. Yeah, but, but they'll but here so a couple there are a couple of their friends that like legitimately subscribe to the channel and watch it and they'll yeah. be like, dude, that thing your dad made was so awesome. That's so cool. they, like they like watch it like these are the two brothers that they watch it together yeah. and and that's, uh that's it's, cute. Do you it's guys, really funny. Do you guys have friends that like you'll go and like hang out with do you ever catch yourself in this situation where you almost don't have too much stuff to talk with like with acquaintances where like we had some friends that were over for dinner tonight and they're good friends of ours that I don't have to talk content though they 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 follow like everything I do and it's great and supportive but like you'll have these people in your life who are acquaintances and I mostly saw that from like the people that I worked at the hospital with where it got to the point where there's nothing else there's nothing else that you could talk to them about so like you like prime example like You'd come up to a guy who's more of an acquaintance. He's like, hey, man, what, what you been up to? I was like, oh, man, I'm just redoing my bathroom. He's like, oh, yeah, I saw that, man. And, like, do you ever catch yourself in those in situations where you're like, ends. you have almost, like, nothing to talk about <laughs> because your life is so open and you're like, I know what you're up to always. Yeah. Uh, not as much because, one, I don't have friends. And then two- <laughs> Isn't that funny? A lot of people don't realize this is, like, content creators, like, we're very – I used to consider myself to be an extrovert, like – I don't think that at all. Like I'm an introverted person now. Like ever since like doing YouTube. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, it's Dude, we, weird. Like, you want to take that? Well, I just like we. I, I think the big thing is is that, a I like I work way too much, and I know I do. But we, you know, like our version of like a fun night is like. Is like Walking Dead and a bowl of popcorn. Like yeah. we're like yes, because we're watching it for the first time. <laughs> yeah, we're so excited. And, and then with COVID and all, but like um, well, we like to. Ha- I mean, like it sounds cheesy, but like I would rather hang out with you. Ah, Susan. Ah. Yeah. Hey, Brad, but give no, her a shout like, out I, in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Shout me out on another video. No, like we just we like spending time together. But like, but then with COVID, I mean. 
that has really because we we do like we've invited people over we do stuff like that and brad's family is local so we'll see them but before we would have been like oh we should have somebody come over you know and now like i mean we just i don't know yeah. like well i think I it's also with the, with the kids at the ages that they're at that uh like i said we, we do a lot of board games and so it's like we hang out like we have fun as a family and so we you know we're playing wits and wagers or loadout or whatever we're, we're playing like card games or board games and hanging out and we always like every friday nights uh movie night so we do movie and and pizza and then typically we'll do movie saturday as well and uh and so yeah so like we just hang out with them and then with also with the whole code thing like we've really been detached um because we're like, yeah, you know, like we don't need all this, all this business. Right. And uh, because that's the, like, the, that, you know, like as well, because Susan supports the business, but like she's not making the videos. So like if I go down with COVID for yeah. two, three weeks, right? Like <laughs> videos ain't getting made. Well, like we're, me out about we're not him. making any money, you know? I mean, Brad has asthma and it's not, it's not normally bad, but like that freaks me out about the idea of you getting COVID yeah. just because it is a respiratory situation. But yeah, I don't know. We, but what, we, what you were gonna say though about um, do people like know everything we're doing? I don't think so. I don't story a lot either. So that's true. That's like I used to do stories all the time, and now I, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, I should do a story, <laughs> and I do it. So like people don't really know what I'm doing day to day, and it's like I uh, like and because I've I've like I've backed off of social media. I've like I've just kind of let all that stuff slide. Um, what am yeah, I doing? I, was looking at the reels I, just, I don't do today, anything anymore. It was like 125 weeks. <laughs> the what? <laughs> on the on the reels or the or not the reels, the um highlights. Oh, the highlights. I was looking 125 weeks ago. And I was like, we probably need to update those. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> probably do. But then I looked at John's and his were the same, so I was like, yeah. Oh, I feel like oh, yeah. Now. <laughs> you you oh, got yeah. you, John still got you like, got Susan to be competitive like you now. So you're like, she's like, I looked at John's analytics and you know we're. Uh-huh. No, I just want to be like, I was like, how is everybody else she's like, like we're doing this? And we're the only yeah. ones that aren't. But no. Do you find yourself so you, you just said you just said that uh, you just kind of backed off on a lot of stuff, and I'm sure a lot of it was driven from COVID stuff. But do you find yourself kind of being in a better place that you kind of pump the brakes a little bit, or do you feel a little anxiety? behind all of that it's it's a mixed bag right so there's you're like you're juggling all the balls and you're sorry no 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 we're gonna make a clip say we're gonna clip that we're we're gonna make a clip we're we're juggling all the balls (laughs) it could be a meme (laughs) it's gonna be a clip i'm gonna have my editor just make a clip of that (laughs) yeah so you know so so you do that right you get all the balls up in there and you're trying to like and so that's the funny thing like you when you were talking about that like i'm just there nod my head and you're like man when i quit when i quit it's gonna be so amazing i have so much time And, and every content creator who goes full time i think goes through that but what's happening is like when you're working the side hustle, you're you've got like okay, like I'm crushing Instagram and I'm putting out a blog every two weeks or whatever, and like th- those are your two balls, and you're just juggling those two balls, right? And just work, and then also you know you get the family life and all that good stuff, and then uh, you start dipping your toes in and. You're like, well, you know, I, I need to really get some more Facebook content out. Okay, cool. Well, I need to get some more Pinterest content out. Okay, cool. And it's like the TikTok and this, and it's all of a sudden like you're, you're trying to juggle like 37 balls up in the air and, they've all and you're not bigger, doing a great job you know, yeah. of any of them. Well, and that's what I think it, what happens, it, what happened to me is I was like, I would like, I just kept expanding and expanding and expanding. Yeah. And I, after I like felt pretty good about one thing, I'd go to the next. But then I end up being like, oh man, like I'm just, I'm not doing any of these amazingly well. You know, I'm doing a video every two to three weeks. Uh, I, you know, I'm now like, and I, but I was still doing Instagram and I was just like, the return's not really there on Instagram anyway. It, like the growth has really slowed down. And so I was like, all right, look, I'm putting in more time here than I'm getting return from. So I'm going to back off of that. Right. And then, you know, for Facebook, um, the same type thing. And so like, it's just one of those one of those conversations you have to have with yourself, like where am I investing my time and where's the reward coming from? And so should I slow down in areas? Like if I'm going to post every day on Instagram, what does that give me versus how much time does it take of my day? And so that's, I've done a little bit of that and that does feel better. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like I do feel better because now I'm spending the time in places I think where it's more important. And a lot of that for us is, is uh, like kind of, behind the scenes stuff because yes. we're doing a lot of like we're prep and things. she's like well, whole, working on the website the to redo some of, things 
It's the whole mindset of when you say when you say yes to something, when you say yes, you're saying no to everything else. And it's true. Like I mean, when you think about just how you spend your time during the day or the things you choose to take on, you can only do so much in a day. Right. And so it's making those choices. And then, th- and then the, the landscape is always shifting, too. You right. You know, like the thing that had a great return before is not really right. as great now. And there's like a new thing on the horizon that you want to jump on. Well, and then also with the offers and stuff, like I know... Yeah. Alex, we we're, were like, I was going through and I ended up, I think I put out, uh, it was, I don't know, it was a while back, but it was a video where I like, I didn't have any sponsor on it. And I was like, man, like, there's a lot of these, like, a lot of these like mid-roll type things had kind of dried up and I had a lot of the long-term stuff. Oh, yeah. And so I was like, looking at her, I was like, I was like, what about Alex? And I like, went, and I was like, <laughs> boo, boo, boo. It was like, simply safe. You know, Squarespace. Uh, it was like, you're just like hairy. I was like, he's crushing all these sponsors. Like, what's, uh, what am I doing wrong? Do you know what, and, you know what uh, that came from, dude? You and I were at Ben Ueda's, uh, uh Mega Ranch. And I remember it was, it was uh, Johnny Brooks, uh, you and me sitting on Ben Ueda's container store like late at night. And, oh, yeah. and like I've always considered, and I still do consider, uh, like you and Johnny and Ben, like just the greatest of all times, the goats, right? And so I'm very fortunate, <laughs> very fortunate to be like amongst lions, right? Like or, of the industry. And I'm just like there and they're really nice. They befriended me and like here I'm like learning a lot, you know? And like Johnny and like, and Brad are talking and I'm like these, like I feel like a kid, like like all oh, adults are talking kind of thing. <laughs> and like, and Brad's really good about like getting me involved in conversations and Brad's like, and he's talking to Johnny about like, oh yeah, like a brand's but it's like, and and Alex like, y- y- you know, you'll understand this one day, but like, I'll, I'll like hold off on some of the sponsored videos, and I was like, oh one day, like I wish I could get to the point where I could hold on to sponsored, and so like I left that like, cause like I I am, I always I would attribute one thing to my success, well two things, one of my successes attributed to like being able to hang out with lines like you and Johnny and Ben. But the second thing is like I always pride myself to being a good student. Not I'm 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 always gonna be I'm I'm never gonna be the top of class, but I'm always gonna be rated as the most improved in the class. You know what I mean? And so like I always wanna just like go to make a ranch, make notes, come back, study my notes, what did I need to do? And just like execute. That didn't work. Next time we meet up, Brad, I, we had these conversations. I was like, Brad, look at my stuff. What do you think I should change? Like, like I just I I'm just a, a learner. And I just remember it was like one day, I was like, I want to get to the point where I could just like have sponsors on every one of my videos. And so like to hear that from you, to say that like, wow, like I saw your stuff and you had, you know, you had inventory filled. Like it's it's very humbling to me to be like, man, like it's working. Like it's really paying off, you know, and that was just a lucky stretch for me. That's all it was. Yeah, but it's yeah, it it, like it does. But it's it, it it's, uh, you know, like saying saying yes to something, saying no to other things. But at the same time, like it is so hard. I'm sure you know, mm. like it's so hard to say no to like a sponsor in any form, right? Like somebody's like, yo, dude, I'm going to give you some money. Um, we've got this, you know, like ball talcum powder. You want to like, you want to rep that? It's, <laughs> it's called ball. I can work with that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Alex is like, I've got two posts coming out next week on that. Yes. <laughs> and, done and done. <laughs> It's funny you said that because I got an email from Manscaped today. <laughs> I, did, I was just talking to Susan about that. I was like, well, what if we didn't do, you know, what if, what if we did something like, you know, because our channel is like pretty wholesome. I'm like, ah, I'm like, I can't, I'm like, I'm not, because I like to be like, like we watch the videos with the kids. I don't want to be like watching the videos with the kids and, and they'll be like, dad, what, like, well, we what does know that a kid mean? in the Why neighborhood you... that watches your videos. Exactly. You like, I'm like, I'm not talking about like no. shaving the boys like on <laughs> Second channel. national, you know. Yeah. I don't know, man. They got the lawnmower so, 3.0, so, so, Brad. <laughs> I know, exactly. Oh exactly. Uh, but like you have, so those are easy to say no to, right? But then you get the other people that, you know, are just like, the, it's, it's so wide and uh, like I took on some, uh, and, and that's the other reason that I have been super busy is because I've taken on a lot of sponsor stuff too, but, uh, and, and not just, it's been like weird stuff too, uh, like not videos. So it's stuff to take me away. So it's like things that are Instagram specific or like I, I'm just like signed up to do this thing with Pinterest. And it's like, it, it, nobody sees that except on the platform. And, and so when you have things like that, 
like you have all these commitments and you're just like, yes, 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 yes. Cause you want to, you know, you're just like, so yeah, I'm going to provide for my this. family. Like, I, like if there's money to be made here yeah. and it aligns with my brand, like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And so if you can't shut that off, I know like the end of every year, this year is different, which is last nice. Last year was better too. Last year was better. Good, so like three, the year. first year I went full time. Oh my gosh. Oh, and like, I'm like, you know, I'm just like, yes, 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 yes. Like just grabbing everything I could. And like all of a sudden it was like November and I'm like, okay, uh, we've got eight weeks left in the year and I have 37 sponsor <laughs> commitments. Like, can we do this? <laughs> I know, no, but for you know, like, you're like, you're like, I may have overcommitted. And I remember there, like, I think there were two years that were like that and it was horrible because it's the holidays and you want to yes. relax and enjoy time with your family. Oh, gosh, that would give me and so like, much he's working like a dog trying to get all these videos in. And then the third year, I think, is when we were more, you were, I wasn't really involved at that point, but you were more conscious about being careful about how many commitments because yeah. you've got to like plan that out earlier in the year you know i mean like so yeah because it's easy it to get felt, caught up in and it felt weird yes. to not be like oh we're not filling out our schedule because we knew like things were going to pop up during the year that we were going to want to say yes to and yeah. so that was just i don't know that was uh something we had to practice or you had to practice i guess just yeah it's something you learn right that. it's like anything good in life right you you learn by doing it the wrong way yeah. <laughs> right you're like wow uh, i should not have done that <laughs> yeah well that's great i i love the fact that you guys together as a team kind of like you've almost figured out what this beast is of the business right you're like yeah we know you know what you know second quarter third quarter is going to look like so you're both kind of like anticipating like and you can it sounds like you guys have like an awesome team where you guys can have this conversation is like is this brand appropriate like that's that takes a huge like weight off your shoulders because we don't, don't talk about that. we don't talk about that like i don't think i've ever done that to you like hey do you think i should take this and sometimes it, it, it it's helpful to like just get a second pair of eyes but second opinion yeah. kind of on like well, maybe you shouldn't take that but i feel like with us we're both doing our own businesses so i feel like i don't we don't talk as much about like oh brands and this. no I'm like gone half the week staging y you would so. you would you would raise up like these like because you'd be stressed out about you so like my stress would be different than your stress right like my stress would be hey deadlines i don't know what to do i don't know if i can hit this deadline i overcommitted yeah. on instead of two videos a month i overcommitted on a third one because i thought it was easy money and then now i have to squeeze this thing out and this thing is delayed and that's what I'd vent to you about. And then with you, you'd be like, listen, I don't have enough furniture for this house that I'm doing. Yeah. Like, and I don't, and I already committed. And my this, problem is I can't say no either. Yeah. I can't. And it's been three years <laughs> and I still have a hard time. And it's like the people pleasing side of me. I can't. <laughs> I'm always yeah. like, yes, let's do it. I got you. Yeah. I'll help you. And then it's like, yeah. oh it's so my hard. gosh, anxiety. But I because there's so, so, it's so hard. It but because hard. they're two separate businesses, like, and you both know how much energy it takes. You both kind of get to this like, like I, I like let you do your thing yeah. because I already have my yeah. thing. Yeah. And then I go, I was like, okay, I'll listen to you real quick. And then, but I'll then we vent empathize. to each other, which is yeah. funny because like at the end of the day, I'll like share all of my stresses and anxieties yeah. and he'll share his and we're like, okay. And, and then we'll have sex and we'll figure it out afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll relieve that stress. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. hey, I, we, <laughs> we don't want to take away too much of your time. I know, Brad, you got a video you said you're trying to put out. Yeah. Um, and uh, so uh, if, where do you want, where do you, where, where can some of the people find you? Like I said, I, I juggle all the balls. So anywhere they want to go, <laughs> any any social platform of yep. any substance, yeah. I'm Twitter. there. Just Type in fix really this, build that, that. Yeah. we'll find him. Yep. Yeah. Fix this, build that, we'll find him there. Um, so the way we like to end these podcasts, and we'll edit it into the very beginning, that's how we usually do it, is uh, because we're the next door neighbors. And uh, so what we want you to do is say, hey, we're uh, Brad and Susan Rodriguez. And then use an adjective to describe what kind of neighbor you are. So an example would be like, hi, I'm Alex and uh, Irina Mazukin, and we would be the weird next door neighbors. And so we'll, we'll soundbite that. <laughs> what would we be? I don't know. What would we be? The reclusive next door neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. We'd, um, we'd be the open next door neighbors. I know. I don't know. What are we? Uh, we're, we're friendly, but like, I don't know. We're, That's we're, so boring. Make it interesting. We're, yeah. I just... We're the, we're the, 
we're like handy. the John. Say we're the handy. John. You're John said he'd be the sweaty next door neighbor. So yeah. that's what you know. <laughs> just the sweaty next door neighbors. Just sweaty. Yeah. No. Yeah. Hand, handy would be too easy because I think like every yeah every no don't do that. Here could be. Could it say is that. true though. But yes. It is true. Yeah. It looks like if everybody needs anything done in the neighborhood, they're like, oh, hey Brad, can you uh you know do you have this uh I'm like yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Ah, uh, what are we? Uh, we we are the, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I think we're we're the treeless next door neighbors. We are. All right, so that's, all right, hit him with that. The, <laughs> all right, with no contact. Yeah, the bushless. Yeah, 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 Yes. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Brad. And I'm Susan. Uh, we're the Rodriguez's, and we are the treeless next door neighbors. Awesome. Hey. I love it. <laughs> Thank you find out why. Awesome. Hey, guys. Thanks yeah. so much for joining us. Uh, we appreciate you being our neighbors. Uh, have a great night. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, bye. Bye, guys. You guys have a good one.